Hello everyone, I'm George from Ireland. So here I am in London, Freddie Mercury close this way. I'm about to show you um, the World Zoroastrian Centre. I'm in the London suburb of Feltham, which is only a couple of miles from the perimeter of Heathrow Airport. So the Zoroastrians are a religion that originated in Iran well over 2,000 years ago. So Zarathustra was their prophet and they worship Ahura Mazda, Lord Wisdom. Um, so they're perhaps the first monotheistic religion, taught the other monotheists a, a thing or two. So do you see above me there, Freddie Mercury Close. Now Freddie Mercury is perhaps the most uh, famous Zoroastrian of all, certainly in this country he is. So born in, in um, Zanzibar, that island off the coast of Africa, um, Farokh Bulsara being his name. Farokh being a typically Persian name because, as I say, the, the, the Zoroastrians originated in um, ancient Persia, or Iran as we now call it. But uh, when Iran started to turn to Islam in the 7th century, some of them left, more of them sit left in the 19th century, often they got the surname Irani for that reason. So they mostly settled in Indian Gujarat, gravitated towards Mumbai and achieved the most um, awe-striking success in trade. Now behind me you'll see the sign for the World Zoroastrian House and up top you see that symbol of the Zoroastrian faith. That um, bearded man with the, with the uh, um, head here and the wide wings. Zoroastrian unity worldwide. What else does it say? The World Zoroastrian Organization, World Zoroastrian House. And this is it. This is it. World Zoroastrian House. Now you think, shouldn't the headquarters be in Mumbai? There are as little as 60,000 Zoroastrians left in the world. They're often known as Parsis, which in the Persian language simply means Persian. So, um, now this is what I'm not sure about, and I've written to these people to ask. To be a Parsi, do you have to be a Parsi on both sides, or is it just through the father? So, because I've read it's patrilineal, I've said, no, you must be a Parsi of full blood, and they don't accept converts. So, Wells or Astron House. <clears throat> so, in the, in the ancient times, they used to have their religious ceremonies out of doors, because in Iran and, and India, it's usually acceptable to do that, because it's not cold. But um, anyway, later on, they started building their fire temples. Now, the flame only represents the Almighty. They don't, they don't worship the flame. There's this a misconception and there's a misnomer that they are fire worshippers. That's not true. So that's the astonishing thing about them. They believe in those sacred elements of um, water, um, wind, fire and earth. And one mustn't desecrate any of those, mustn't cremate the dead, mustn't bury the dead, mustn't put the dead in water. Um, but you can put them in towers of silence. Well, be the, 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 the body will be devoured by vultures. We don't like to think about this, probably by rats actually a lot of the time. Um, anyway, so Towers of Silence, and you see them in Mumbai. So most Subhasis in the world live in Mumbai. And look over there, do you see that? That is a Tower of Silence here in the United Kingdom for the deceased Parsis. Joke, it's not actually. Okay, that's a church spire. Okay, they have to bury their dead here. So there's Brookwood Cemetery, some distance to the west of London, where there is a Parsi um, graveyard, because I know that is breaching one of the principles of their faith, but what else there is to do? You've got to dispose of your dead somehow. And um, so uh, they, they've got solar panels to reflect loads of sunlight onto the dead bodies to try and make them shrivel up in Mumbai now, because they're not enough, um, they're not enough vultures to eat the corpses since they, um, there's some sort of anti-inflammatory um, drug which has been given to other animals and then the vultures are eating that the vultures are getting it and somehow killing them so that's it anyway what goes on there because then i've heard that uh, uh, disbelieving eyes are not permitted to see the sacred flame but they, they show you photos of it but we're not allowed in for ceremonies obviously parsi fire temple says parsis only but i'd very much like to go in there so that's feltham london and and freddie mercury live very close to here there's a plaque on his house which i filmed there's a, there's a Freddie Mercury memorial tree because Freddie Mercury, um, he from Zanzibar, he moved to boarding school in India. He came to this country as a teenager. His family lived around here with his sister, um, Kashmira. She's married to a Mr. Cook now, and they were very Britannicized. He was a born British citizen. Joined that uh, that that band Queen. Um, he'd been to the some art college in Ealing. It's now the University of West London. And then the band Queen, well, he found rock superstardom. Well, that's enough about the Parsis for the moment. Toodaloo.